What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Son of Attack once again, and welcome to episode two of Mining Farm Wars. If you'd like to submit your farm, go ahead and email submissions at sonofattack.com with the farm details, including which parts you're running and, of course, the total hash rate. Or you can go to sonofattack.com and click the Submit Your Rig button, and we'll accept submissions for farms through that link as well. A better submission kind of tool is going to be coming into place at sonofatech.com. We're still working on it, but stay tuned for that. If you want to pick up a new bumper sticker, we have May Your Hash Rates Be High and Your Watts Low, which you can go to sonofatech.com slash merch. Link will be in the description as well for that one. And if you head over there, we're only selling 100 of these, so very limited supply on them, and they're just $3 a piece. Make sure you pick yours up before they're all gone. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, welcome back. If you want to vote, make sure you go ahead and click the I up in the corner and then vote in the polling system that's built into YouTube. It's super convenient and the best way that I found for us to get people to interact with the video. Now, starting things off, we have Rig A Mini Farm by TJ, aka Siforek. I'll put a link to his YouTube in the description below and he is a community member that's very active in our Discord, which you can also find a link to in the description below. He has four Azrock H1 10 Pro BTC motherboards and a single Asus B250 motherboard, 7 EVGA 1000 watt G2 power supplies, a single 1300 watt G2 power supply, and two 850 watt G2 power supplies. He has five sticks of HyperX 4 gigabyte memory and five SanDisk 120 gigabyte SSDs with five Celeron 3930s. A total of 27 GPUs for the GTX 1070s and a total of 31 GTX 1070 Ti's. And that is a crazy amount of GPUs. The total is 58. His total hash rate is 30 kilo hash a second, so he's killing it, but he's not on our BTCP pool yet. Next is Rig B GTX 1070 by 10. This is one where it was kind of on the fringe of just being a rig, but our requirement of rigs needing to be a single motherboard kind of knocked it out of that, but we still want to feature it. So it's by Varun and he's rocking four Zotac Amp Edition GTX 1070s, six Gigabyte Aorus GTX 1070s on two Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboards. Powering it all is the Cooler Master 1000 watt gold power supply and a Corsair 1000 watt gold power supply, 10 generic risers, and then he's rocking two Kingston four Gigabyte sticks of memory ddr4 and two kingston 120 gigabyte ssds and he's got the g4400 in each rig so two of those and a vga switch i guess he used for managing each one and a custom built frame he is running windows 10 on these and the total hash rate is 315 mega hash a second Rig C is named Chicken Farm, and I'm not sure why that is, because I see no chickens in the pictures, but it'd be pretty cool if it is at a chicken farm. He's rocking a massive amount of GPUs, all 1080 Ti, 70 of them, seven mining motherboards, mining plus motherboards, which I'm not even sure exactly which those are. If he could let us know in the comment section, that would be awesome. And seven 120 gigabyte SSDs from Corsair. 20 2000 watt server power supplies and 70 black risers so i'm assuming of course here that he's got to have some sort of now i'm assuming of course here that he has had to have some pretty good electrical installed here and we're also looking at 220 because he's rocking those 2000 watt server power supplies pretty awesome stuff here uh, hash rates unknown but you guys can calculate out those 70 1080 ti's at let's say 40 mega hash on ETH, and you can go ahead and calculate that out. 
Either way, it's a lot. I would assume he is probably sticking to Equihash at this point. Next is Rig D, your mom from Nick, another Discord community member. So be sure to come by there if you have questions for any of these guys. He has 14 rigs, eight cards per rig running Windows 10. The motherboards are the Asus Prime Z270A, which is a pretty good go-to board. He does say that he's rocking 12 gigabytes of Corsair memory per system, which is kind of curious to me. I'd like to know why. He does have the G4400 in all of the motherboards there, and he is using the Samsung Evo 850 250 gigabyte SSD for all the systems. He has 80 mixed 1080 Ti cards between MSI, Asus, and EVGA, uh, 32 MSI 1080 cards, and lots of EVGA power supplies, mostly P2s, some G2s, ranging from 750 watts to 1600 watts, two air purifiers, four box fans, and three commercial fans. Of course, the hash rate here is unknown, but it's safe to say that he's got a ton of Equihash in this. Finally, we have Riggy, no clue by James. He has a total of 24 GPUs, rocking about 1968 mega hash a second on Windows 10. Rig one is on the first shelf, and that's going to be rocking the Asus B250 Skylake CPU, 8 gigabytes of memory, 120 gigabyte SSD, and then eight MSI GTX 1080 Ti's and three 1300 watt EVGA power supplies. All for those, just those eight 1080. ETIs there. That is a ton of power. Rig 2 is on the second shelf and he's rocking the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus on that one with the Skylake CPU he says as well. I'm assuming these are going to be G4400s. Uh, 8 gigabytes of memory, 120 gigabyte SSD. Once again, 8 MSI GTX 1080 Ti's the Gaming Trio Plus versions, and three 1300 watt EVGA power supplies once again. Finally, he has Rig 3 on the third shelf, and the only things they've really changed here from the second rig is the type of GPUs. Instead of the MSIs, he's got the Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti RS Extreme Edition GPUs, and once again, three 1300 watt EVGA power supplies. Now, going back through these, I do feel like on No Clue, we are really over specced on power. All right, so yeah, I did just calculate it out. On the 1080 Ti's, you're looking at a max of like 275 watts now. If you did multiply that times eight, you know, if you, I just went ahead and did quick math 300 uh, times eight, and you were looking at about 2400 watts. I think there's probably some other solutions that could be uh, a little cheaper here. Of course, you know, if he's, adhering to the 50% usage, then I guess I can understand going ahead and going with the 1300 watt power supplies uh, as, as it stands. Now moving on to Nick here, tons of cards, tons of craziness, and a just a really massive awesome setup. Uh, I would like to know more about the air purifiers. I assume he's in a humid location or something along those lines and how those temperatures are looking as that's a lot of cards packed into a very tight space. I would rather know like how the cards on the inside are doing compared to the cards on the outside um, in those kind of configurations. Of course that goes for everybody in, in the farms especially when you see them without any fans like the past two rigs that we were just talking about, Rig E and Rig D. There are, you know, the industrial fans blowing through, but no individual fans on each card other than the ones that are built onto the card itself. So the ones that are sticking in the middle are kind of just sucking the hot heat from the cards right next to them, which can be problematic. I guess if you underclock and so on, it can get a little bit better. Rig C Chicken Farm, the most interesting thing that I see here are the 22,000 watt server power supplies. And it does say seven minor plus motherboards. Now we do know, of course, that you can get mining motherboards that will support being powered by PCIe. Are these motherboards that are supported by that? Or are they being converted to a 24 pin for a more traditional uh, PC power? And I, I'd kind of like to know a little bit more about that. Of course, it's a ton of power. So we see all that. And I think for mining farm wars, this is... <laughs> We're going to be more interested in, in my humble opinion, what you've done 
for electrical, you know, what you what kind of uh, breakers you have installed, what kind of plugs you're running, do you have any APCs, any PDUs? That sort of question is kind of what I'm leaning towards with mining farm wars and I think for a lot of us that's more of the questions because at this point we started to grasp the concept of the rig. So moving out to farms, we start thinking a little bit more on a macro level and a little bit less on a micro. And that sort of thing is going to be coming into play with, you know, what you're, what you're doing um, as far as power wise, power consumption wise, and what you're doing with all of your cooling, of course. So, you know, like we see the ducting in this particular one, what, what's running it, you know, how much is it costing to run even just the AC alone? And that sort of thing now the GTX 1070 10 by 10 this is almost more of just a shout out to Ver for Varun for submitting a rig it's getting really hard to go ahead and distinguish you know the difference between a farm and a rig and where we split those up I don't know what we're going to do here because it's technically not fair to him or the guys it's not fair for him to be in this particular episode and it's not fair for him for the other people in mining rig wars to be over there necessarily so i really need your help in curating a lot of this i think the new website design that we're coming up with is going to help us curate that a little bit better and we're just going to have to see where it goes from here now tj obviously rig a mini farm i'm super stoked that he finally got his day in the day in the spotlight because he's done a lot of work to all of these rigs uh, we've been tracking with him of course in discord for the longest time on what he has running he actually has a lot more than i thought he did uh, to be completely honest initially so really impressive tj sifo there i am curious what you're doing with the each individual kind of framing uh because you know i i guess i see one here and is that custom built and if so you know is that something we could get dimensions for for everyone else i would like to see you know swapping out those evga 1000 watts for some server power supplies preferably something like 220 and probably working on you know exhausting some of that heat because it looks like I guess you're in a garage or something like that or a shop so like I said I think we really need to start focusing on for farms what you're doing for you know cooling off all of this equipment and what you're doing to power it all I think those are going to be the things that are going to be most helpful for the community and if we can get those answers for everyone that would be awesome so from now on if you're going to be submitting to farm wars just include those details so i can go over them and we can all kind of work together to just be more efficient and better miners overall thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of mining farm wars bear with me as we work through kind of the way we handle these submissions and the way we handle it, the, these episodes in general as it is very new. I am always open to suggestions and would appreciate them in the comment section below. Don't forget to go stop by the merch store and support us by picking up a bumper sticker or a t-shirt. And the best way you can support us is by coming into the Discord and chatting and just sharing your knowledge with the community. I will see you next Tuesday.